Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. And today, I'm going to show you how I built this three-piece takedown bow out of three-quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. It draws about 35 to 40 pounds at 28 inches and breaks down to just 18 inches overall. So here it is, let's get started. I'm starting off with a 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This is a red furniture grade pipe made by FormuFit. I've gone ahead and cut it down to 50 inches and marked the center at 25 inches, two and a half inches out from center on both sides to make the handle, and six inches in from either tip so we can shape our tips later. So now I'm going to heat this up with a heat gun and once it's soft enough to where it can be flattened with finger pressure all the way down the pipe, I'm going to place it in the flattening jig and we're going to put in a pretty steep taper using the one inch spacer on my jig. So this jig's a little different than others I've used. The spacers are built into these rails. Each one is high enough so that when this block gets placed on top, there is the one inch space on this side and a three-quarter space on the other end. I'm using a one-inch taper because the thicker section in the center will make a more extreme taper which will open more of this limb up so that a fiberglass rod could fit all the way down. Not only that, but since fiberglass rods don't bend very much near the outsides and mostly in the center, having a thicker center section will help counter that out and keep the bow from being too flexible in the handle. I'm going to place it in here as straight as possible. Line this up to the end. And wrap this down. And there it is. So now I'm going to heat this side and taper this limb.
there's a spot right here. I can just flex against it. It's still a little warm. Bend against the curve. So that looks good. The pipe doesn't need to be straight. Just as long as it lines up through the center, it's fine. Now I'm going to heat up this handle from this mark to this mark until it is pliable enough for us to bring it to its final shape. Since the handle is thicker on this, I like to make it a little wider as well. If I had flattened this limb a little bit more, I would go for a narrower handle. So I'm aiming for a little bit under an inch wide on the handle itself. Now we can work on the tips. All right, so for this bow, we're gonna do some compound shaped tips. I'm gonna start with a little bit of a reflex maybe about one or two inches and then the last three inches of this we're going to heat up and then press it into our flattening jig to fold the tip. Alright, so here's both of the tips. Now I'm going to cut my string knocks and we'll string it up. Alright, so I've gone ahead and tied an overhand knot in a piece of paracord made a little loop, put that on one knock, bring it over to the other, and I'm going to measure four inches from the knock and tie another overhand knot. I'm going to brace my leg on the center of the handle. Bring it up. All right. 
Here it is. I've gone ahead and cut three pieces of Schedule 40 one inch PVC pipe. This one is four and an eighth inch long and these two are four and a quarter inch long. So here's the handle. This is the original handle mark in the center. I've marked half an inch down. This is where the arrow is going to go. I've marked half an inch down and that's where we're going to do our cut. So I'm going to cut the bow in half and then we're going to glue it back together. There it is. I've gone ahead and smoothed off the corners, taken off all the sharp edges. And now I'm going to apply some hot melt glue and then glue this handle back together. Alright, so I've got a little bit of glue to remove. I'll do that in a minute. Since this bow is starting to take on a bit of a Deadpool vibe, I'm going to take one of these purple tab style arrow rests and put it right here for a little bit of a Hawkeye touch to this bow. So I've gone ahead and measured out this bow and what I'm trying to do is break it up into thirds plus these two end limbs are going to be getting a... Alright, so now it's time to prepare this for the takedown. I'm going to be putting two takedown sleeves on here. One is going to go right here and the other one is going to go up here and it's effectively going to break this bow into thirds. And we're going to be cutting a little further away from the handle, so our centerpiece is going to be 18 inches long, about, just a little under 18 inches. And these two outer limb pieces are going to be just under 16 inches, plus the two inches that's going to overhang from these spacers. And you've got 18 inches for all three pieces, so they'll be roughly the same size when they're bundled together. So now I'm going to cut these and then glue it together. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Alright, so I've gone ahead and finished up both sides. Now when you first do this, it may be hard to get them in and out. You may have to struggle at least to get them apart the first time. What I do is after I get them out, I lightly sand the end with 220 grit sandpaper. And then once I've sanded the entire outer layer, I stick it back in pull it out and if there are any markings or areas where there's a lot of friction those will get sanded down until everything's smooth. You don't want it to be loose but you should be able to pull it out and seat it. Another thing is I also used some bowstring wax which is a mix of 
mineral oil and beeswax. Underneath the connectors, just rub it in, wipe it off, and that helps with any creaking that these sometimes make when you first put them together. So here it is. Make sure to mark your limbs before you take the bow apart completely for the first time so you don't accidentally end up putting the wrong limb on the wrong side. And a nice way to mark your limbs is a trick that I picked up from Jacob L. He puts little marking grooves on his limbs. So this bottom limb that will be covered has two marks that I put in here with the Dremel and this outer sleeve has these two marks. That way I know these two go together. And on the other side I have one mark for the top limb. I really like these three-piece takedowns because they're so portable. This whole package right here is just 18 inches long and can fit just about anywhere. So here's the bow all finished up. I hope you enjoyed building this along with me today. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.